I want to show you, mates, why I enjoy playing solo. Because this game, surprisingly, is really fun playing solo, especially on victims. Because the teamwork aspect of the game usually is more orientated to the family side, not the victim side. So the victims can have four escapes, find a way to exit, have some fun before they leave, and disappear into one of those exits, one of those escapes. So it's really enjoyable in that aspect. So I'll showcase how it is when you play solo in this game and why it's fun. So we're going to go over here. Let's find some bone scrap. To cause some chaos for the enemy team and get a low pace. And playing Anna is really fun too. She's like one of my fun characters in the game. Her and Leland, by far. Guys, yeah, get this bone scrap. Thank you, Random, for all the links in chat. Love seeing it. Wait, I'm not getting scanned anymore. No! You broke it! I need that one. So that's one backstab right there. Can you get another backstab too? I think I can. But it's fun having fights with these characters and trying to survive against them. Oh no, that's bad. That's so bad. Let me take it. Let me take it. Okay. Backstab again. You're useless. See you later. Love to see it. Come on, let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Oh, he's breaking the barricades. Are we over there now? I can make another backstab. Love to see it. Stunned again. So as a solo player, you can just make low face completely irrelevant for the gameplay too. When you play his victim. You just tank hits, do some damage, leave, and just be into thin air. What it may be, he's gonna open up another barricade. Smart player. Nice, well done. Another stagger. You need to get, get away from the boat scrap. I need it, I need it, I need it. Thank you, go backstab him. Probably helps out with this uh, task that we have. Do you play this game solo or with the team? Defense, I feel like I'm getting chased. It's alright, I'll take a swipe here. It's alright, don't go for the stun. Don't go for the stun, nice, okay. You go for the backstab, I'll go for this. What happened? They go backstab. Love to see it. Love to see it. But you can play solo or play with a team like this, be more aggressive. And it just randomly happens because other solo players are also being more aggressive in the game now. Which makes it quite fun. The backstab, nice. Wait, oh, missed it, he missed it, missed it. Let me hit me. Nice. You gotta, you gotta leave, mate. You gotta leave. I don't want you to die. So make sure he's safe. And the reason why I can make sure he's safe is because my ability is so good. I'm healing back with my passive. Nice. And look, you run circles around him and he can't hit you. That's the best part about this. <laughs> Oh my god, look how funny that is. Look how funny. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Oh, he's, I used my ability for nothing. He stalled out. One. Heal up. Another one. Useless. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I should never use my ability there. I just want my charges and choose fly, but should be alright. But now we've got this guy pretty much in a situation where he can't do anything. And there's a three-man party on killer side, by the way. Quiet. So they're, they're more team orientated. Compared to me playing solo. Wait, I don't get cool outs, I don't get anything, but I can keep one of the players, one of the vic uh, killers down, and make him my victim in the basement. Or my teammates can open objectives and I can get the notification when it's open and get a free escape. So there's many ways to play this game. That's why I enjoy to play the game, more solo oriented like that, and causing Killers, uh, a dilemma trying to kill victims. I can me in this game. It's always the most fun I have. This guy's gonna get the one shot. How do you read that? That was gonna be really good for him. That would have been really good. You broke the door too. Ah, no more door slams. We got this down as well. Nice work. I think now we need to set up for escape. Because we've got a sissy enemy as well and cook on the same team. They got a good team comp. Let's go. Let's get upstairs. Double check the fuse box, because that could be an easy one for us to complete. Oh shit. Okay, we've been in an issue. Stop. You're moving. Go run there. Fuse box isn't here. Where should you run from? You should run from Sissy. That's why.
We have a bit of an issue here. No ability, but this could lead to her death. They'll come over here. The rotation sounds like they're coming towards this angle. Open this. You gotta open up all other pathways. Because we get sandwiched in here, we're pretty much dead. Unless my ability's up. I can take all the hits. It's yeah, doing very well here. Nice work. Fuse box is not here. It's over there. Oh, it's so annoying. Well, they accept open. It has to be like one of the doors. Let me double check. Let me double check. Pressure valve's open too. So we can guarantee accept here. Look at that pressure from my team. Look how much time has stalled for the enemy uh, character over there. Quite good. Quite good. So we're getting some stamina so we don't use the charges. It might have been car battery. I definitely think it was car battery. A pressure valve being free right now is so good. Nice work. We've got a cookie as well. Got it. Oh, it's my ability. No. Pop to my ability for safety. Nice work. Thank you. Did nothing. Thank you. I timed that so well. Well, GG. Come on, open up. Open up. Open up. Yes. Let me out. Heal up. Heal up. Heal up. Heal up. Back to full HP. Love to see it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, look at that. Oh. 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 Run, run, run. Before we get the one shot. Nice work. Well done. GG's. GG's. Where's Julian? Did Julie survive too? That was a great save. But that was solo play, but also worked out pretty well because my teammates are there. But you play this game solo, and it's really fun. And sometimes you have the teammates that do really well. Other times you have teammates that do really bad. It just depends on their map knowledge, the experience of the game. But either way, each game to game feels fun when you're playing solo. Because it's not like a competitive setting. You can make it as competitive as you want as a solo player. And try to set a challenge for yourself and enjoy it like we do on the channel. From most backstabs to world record attempts, through uh, stabs to grandpa, whatever it may be. This game is quite fun when you set a solo challenge for yourself and play solo. Because the dynamic of what happens changes per game because it's never fixed anymore. When you play the party, it becomes more fixed or uh, orientated to communication and such. It becomes harder. Oh, it becomes easier, but maybe less fun after a while, especially. But that was a four team escape when everyone was playing solo except for two members. Four members escaped. Nice work. And this is why I think you should play a Texas Chainsaw Massacre solo because it's pure fun and enjoyment. To say the least. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, code Lordy at GamerSubs for 10% off. Keep yourself energized and BTLMerch.com. It means the world.